Hello and welcome. My name is Jonathan Lim and I'm a senior consultant at Orb Data. I would like to show you some of the core capabilities of a product called Tivoli Application Discovery Dependency Manager, or TADM for short. But before we go into how TADM can help you, let's first see what problems it can help you solve. In any systems management department, you have many daily tasks to perform. From time to time, you may be asked questions from different teams. Perhaps the SAP department wants to know why their systems are running slow and what has changed over the last 24 hours. More questions from different teams may be asked. Your list of things to do will continue to grow over time. The auditors are here tomorrow and they need a full server inventory, but you are still trying to find the Oracle configuration differences asked by the DBA team. There will come a point where you cannot keep up with the requests and you need help. This is where TADM can assist you, leaving you with more time to get on with your daily tasks. We now have a little understanding of configuration management and how TADM can help, but what is it? TADM is IBM's strategic discovery tool and provides visibility to what you have, how it is configured and how it is changing over time. With TADM, a customer can discover what they have in their data centers, including servers, applications, network devices and operating systems. TADM can then generate a map that shows how these items are all interrelated. TADM also shows how a configuration item, often referred to as a CI, are configured and whether it is in compliance with company rules and policies. TADM also maps application dependencies, performs analytics via reporting and reconciles resources found as required. TADM provides three key benefits, the first being able to understand what you have already in your environment. The software lets you see the logical and physical dependencies among applications, middleware, servers and network devices. The second benefit is that the software discovers how CIs are configured and not just identifying individual applications. The software also tracks changes on all CIs and attribute values over time. And finally, the third key benefit is the ability to compare configuration of the applications discovered to a reference master or standards policy. This in turn lets you catch rogue changes and allows for remediation of the violation. TADM maps the dependencies and relationships a customer needs to understand the impact of a change to their critical application services. With TADM, you can now see how the IT complexity from the earlier chart is now mapped to show what objects support important applications and services. So you must be wondering how it all works. Let me explain to you the workings of the solution at a high level. At the core of the solution is a data center reference model. The model defines how the product identify and models all the components that it discovers. The discovery engine leverages the knowledge in the model in order to discover the application environment. In order to do the discovery, we need three things. Firstly, the scope of the discovery, usually specified as an IP address or range. We then need the access list, access credentials to standard and secure protocols such as SNMP, SSH, WMI, JMX, SQL, etc. That allows us to discover the components within the environment. And finally, we need the schedule. This defines how often you want to run the discovery in order to keep the maps accurate. You can also schedule the discovery to run on demand and also the discovery can be event driven. The discovery engine goes through a multi-step process to discover the infrastructure and create the application maps. An example of how a discovery happens would be first launch the sensor. The sensor checks to see if you were a server. Yes, I found a server. Next it checks what OS it is. Then it checks what is deployed to this OS. 
The sensor then thinks it's found an Apache server, so launches the Apache server sensor to find out more information about this server. The process goes on and on until all CIs are discovered. All of the sensor gathered data is consolidated by the TADM server to create accurate application maps. TADM provides you with a graphical user interface to visualize and analyze the maps produced. As you can see, APIs are also provided to control the discovery process and access the resultant Configuration Management Database, or CMDB for short. OK, so now we have an understanding of how TADM works. Let's now take a look at the architecture needed. Well, we first need a TADM server and also a TADM database. TADM supplies over 100 sensors out of the box covering the mainstream operating systems, application servers, database servers, network switches, etc. If there isn't an out-of-box sensor available to discover one of your components, TADM can generally be configured to discover unknown components using a combination of custom server templates and custom server extensions. TADM uses a combination of Simple Network Management Protocol, Secure Shell and Windows Management Instrumentation to perform the discovery. If TADM determines a specific IP device is running a version of Unix or Linux, SSH is used for the discovery process. If TADM determines it is running on a version of Windows, WMI is used for the discovery process, otherwise SNMP is used for the discovery process. If the targeted servers to be discovered are separated from the TADM server by a firewall, TADM requires that an anchor server be defined on the other side of the firewall. This is used as the communications pipe by TADM communicating directly with the anchor server using SSH and the anchor server then performs the discovery on behalf of the TADM server. The discovery results are then fed back to the TADM server via the anchor server. The TADM server functions by default as an anchor server for discoveries of servers not separated by a firewall. If any of the target servers to be discovered are Windows servers, TADM requires a Windows gateway to be defined. As discovery of window-based targets is performed using WMI, the TADM server uses the Windows gateway server to launch the WMI-based discoveries. If the servers to be discovered are separated from the TADM server by a firewall, an anchor server is also required as described above. A single Windows server can be used to host both the Windows Gateway and the anchor server functionality, assuming that SSH is installed on the Windows server for communicating with the TADM server. For more information or to arrange a demo, please contact sales at orb-data.com or call us on plus four four zero one six two eight five five zero four five zero.